Okay, so to look at this very nice problem, uh, so it says we should find k such that uh, the vectors given here, uh, the two of them will be orthogonal. We recall we've been on orthogonal vectors and two vectors u and v are orthogonal if their dot product is what? Zero. Okay, so in solving this problem, for these two vectors to be orthogonal, all we need to ensure is that if we take the dot product of the, the two vectors, which is this, multiplying the second one should be equal to zero. Okay, so this has already given us an equation. All we need to do is to simplify, uh, open up the bracket by the definition of a dot product. And what is it? So the components will multiply. So we have minus 6k, that's minus 6 multiplying this k here. And then the second component, k and k squared, will multiply to give us k cubed. And then uh, 2 will multiply k to give us 2k. All should be equal to 0. Now, from that equation, you can see that we have k to the third order. That is to say that we are expecting three values for k. So let's make some uh, factorization here. So we have 6 plus uh, k squared plus 2 all equal to 0. And then we can add something. So we have k into k squared minus 6 plus 6, sorry, plus 2 will give us minus 4. And that's equal to 2, sorry, 0. And so we can say that k is equal to 0 or k squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So we've gotten the first solution. So for the other ones, that means, sorry, So for the other two remaining values, we will now solve this part of the uh, solution. So recall that that is difference of two squares, which is the same thing as k minus two squared equal to zero. So if we apply difference of two squared, we'll have k plus two into the bracket of k minus two is equal to zero. That means our k plus two is zero or k minus two is zero. So that means here our k is negative 2 or positive 2. Finally, it then means that our k is equal to 0, negative 2, or positive 2. So these are the three values or possible values of k. And you can actually check if it is going to be true. Let me use uh, 0 now. Let me check for 0. You can check for the other two. So if I put my k as 0, the first uh, vector will be minus 6, 0, 2, and the second vector will be 0, 0, 0. Okay, so can we check if this is going to give us orthogonal vectors? That's taking the adult product. So minus 6 times 0 is already 0, 0 times 0 is already 0, 2 times 0 is 0. So you see the dot product is actually 0. You can also check it with any of 2 and the, the other one to see if those values will... Uh, actually produce orthogonal vectors if you substitute them into the vectors right and that's the end for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel for more beautiful videos we'll see you in our next content bye